Step 8. Verifying Power Output Testing Bipolar Out Connect the red test lead to the left output of the bipolar port on the force triad, and then the opposite end of the red test lead to the variable high port on the QAES3. Connect the black test lead to the right output of the bipolar port on the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the black test lead to the variable low port on the QAES3. Connect the bipolar automation cable to the activation output of the bipolar port on the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the bipolar automation cable to the yellow cut jack on the QAES3. Jumper the common jack to the variable high jack on the QAES3. Select 10 watts on the force triad and push the low button. On the QAES3, press F1 for generator output. Press F2 for cut. Select a 100 ohm load and then F4 for start continuous. Verify current is between 291 and 339 milliamps. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Press standard on the force triad. Press F4 on the QAES3 for start continuous. Verify current is between 291 and 339 milliamps. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Press macro on the force triad. Press F4 on the QAES3 for start continuous. Verify current is between 291 and 339 milliamps. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Repeat these tests for 30 and 95 watts per the following table. After testing bipolar output, disconnect all the leads. Testing monopolar cut. Connect the red test lead to the left output of the monopolar 1 port on the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the red test lead to the variable high port on the QAES3. Connect the blue test lead to the coag jack on the QAES3, and then connect the opposite end of the blue test lead to the center output monopolar 1 port on the force triad. Connect the yellow test lead to the cut jack on the QAES3, and then connect the opposite end of the yellow test lead to the right output monopolar 1 port on the force triad. Jumper the common jack to the variable high jack on the QAES3. Connect the ESU dispersive safety lead to the REM port on the force triad, and then connect the black banana to the variable low jack on the QAES3. On the monopolar 1 test screen of the force triad, Select 10 watts on the cut power control. Push the pure button on the force triad. On the QAES3, select 300 ohms. Press F2 for cut, and then press F4 for start continuous. Verify current is between 146 and 218 milliamps. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Press the blend button on the force triad. Press F4 on the QAES3 for start continuous. Verify the current is between 146 and 218 milliamps. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Repeat these tests for 75 watts for pure and blend, 300 watts for pure, and 200 watts for blend based on the following table. Repeat the cut output test steps for monopolar 2 and UFP. Disconnect all leads and press the back button on the QAES3. If you need to test Valley Lab mode output using the Force Trivers pencil, please follow the instructions on this screen.
Testing Monopolar Coag. Connect the red test lead to the left output of the monopolar 1 port on the fourth triad, and then connect the opposite end of the red test lead to the variable high port of the QAES3. Connect the blue test lead to the coag jack on the QAES3, and then connect the opposite end of the blue test lead to the center output monopolar 1 port on the fourth triad. Connect the yellow test lead to the cut jack on the QAES3, then connect the opposite end of the yellow test lead to the right output monopolar 1 port of the force triad. Jumper the common jack to the variable high jack on the QAES3. Connect the ESU dispersive safety lead to the REM port on the force triad, and then connect the black banana to the variable low jack on the QAES3. On the monopolar 1 test screen of the force triad, Select 1 watt on the coag output power control. Press the Fulgurate button. Press F1 on the QAES3 for generator output, then select 500 ohms. Press F2 for coag, and then press F4 for start continuous. Verify current is between 20 and 100 milliamps. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Press the spray button on the force triad. Press F4 on the QAES3 for start continuous. Verify the current is between 20 and 100 milliamps. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Repeat these tests for 30 watts and 120 watts for fulgurate and spray based on the following table. Repeat the coag output test steps for monopolar 2 and UFP. Disconnect all leads and press the back button on the QAES3. Testing ligature output. Connect the special red ligature lead to the left output of the ligature 1 port on the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the special red ligature lead to the variable high port on the QAES3. Connect the special black ligature lead to the right output of the ligature 1 port on the force triad, and then connect the opposite end of the special black ligature test lead to the variable low port on the QAES3. Press the wrench icon on force triad. Press Service. Enter the password provided in the OEM service manual. Press Enter. Press Diagnostics. Press Debug Mode. Under Mode Selection, choose Ligature Test. Under Port Selection, choose Ligature 1. Under Open or Close Loop, select Close Loop. Select Level 1.0. On the QAES3, select F1 for generator output. Select a 50 ohm load. Press F4 for Start Continuous and then on the force triad, press Start RF. Verify current is between 288 and 355 milliamps. On the force triad, press Stop RF, and then press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Repeat for 2.7 and 5.5, as per the following table. Repeat all of these tests for ligature 2. Disconnect all connections and press the back button on the QAES3.